dear students of uh, 10th standard so far we have discussed about atoms and molecules and in this chapter you have studied about the postulates of modern atomic theory and the atom atomic mass relative atomic mass and average atomic mass and molecule and molecular mass also you learn about how to find out the average atomic mass and the relative molecular mass also how to classify the atomicity of the given molecules and differences between atoms and molecules and mole concept also avogadro hypothesis and applications of avogadro law relationship between vapor density and relative molecular mass and the problem based on the calculating the number of moles mass of the substance volume of the substance based on the given formula so and percentage calculation all these we were discussed in this chapter now we are moving to the next chapter unit 8 that is periodic classification of elements so in the periodic classification of elements we are going to study about the modern periodic table periods and groups ores and minerals and the separation of impurities from the ore and the places of occurrence of minerals in our state and the property of metals and metallurgical process and alloys amalgam and also how to minimize and reduce corrosion methods of minimizing corrosion and dear students already have learned regarding this chapter periodic classification of elements in 9th standard also in 9th standard you have studied the periodic classification lesson about dabari in triads new land law of octaves mentally periodic table and see in 1800 there were only 31 elements by 1865 their number become 63 now we are having 118 elements 118 elements have been discovered and as different elements were being discovered scientists gathered more and more information about the properties of these elements so they organized some methods to arrange the elements according to their atomic mass in the early stages the early concept of classification of elements in 1817 Johann Wolfgang Dauberiner a German chemist arranged the elements in the group containing three elements each and he called this group as uh, triads triads Tri, T R I, Tri means three. So he arranged the elements three by three based on the atomic mass. And after that, in 1866, John Newland arranged 56 known elements in the increasing order of their atomic mass. And this arrangement was known as a law of octaves. And next, in 1869, Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev observed that elements of similar properties repeat at regular intervals when elements are arranged in the order of their atomic mass. Based on this law, he proposed a periodic law which is called the Mendeleev periodic law, that is, the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses. 
so he arranged only 56 known elements at that time and uh, according to his uh, law of periodicity and this is the basic uh, periodic law from this only now we are having modern periodic law and modern periodic table and next uh, 1913 the English physicist Henry Mosley through his X-ray diffraction experiment he proved that the properties of elements depend on the atomic number not on the atomic mass so consequently the modern periodic table was prepared by arranging the elements in the increasing order of their atomic number so, in 1930 only, English physicist Henry Mosley found atomic number is the basic one for the preparation of periodic table. So, according to his periodic law, the chemical and the physical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. This is a modern periodic law. I repeat. The modern periodic law can be stated as follows. The chemical and physical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number, not atomic mass. Because in the early concept, scientists proposed the law based on atomic masses, but mostly only proposed Atomic mass is not the base one to arrange the elements. Atomic number is the basic concept to arrange the elements. So he used atomic increasing order of atomic number to arrange the elements. So this is uh, going to give you a new table which is called a modern periodic table. And in the modern periodic table also you learned about the periods and the groups. There are periods and groups. Periods are nothing but the horizontal rows. The elements present in horizontal rows of the periodic table which is called a period. There are seven periods in the modern periodic table. And... The elements in the vertical column of the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called groups. They are called groups. Elements present in the vertical columns in the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called groups. There are 18 groups in the modern periodic table. So horizontal rows are called periods. 7 periods in the modern periodic table. And there are 18 groups in the modern periodic table which possess the elements from top to bottom. And also the classification of elements into blocks like S block element, P block element, T block, F block and advantages of modern periodic table. So all those things already have learned in the Ninth standard and also metal, non metal advantages of uh, alloys. So, all these things already have learned in uh, ninth standard portion. <laughs> now, in tenth standard, we are going to get some higher order of thinking to enhance our knowledge on the properties of elements on the basis of the ninth standard syllabus we get set to go ahead with the higher order of thinking to enhance our knowledge on the properties of elements so already you know by 1860 scientists had discovered only 60 elements and they determined their atomic mass also but after that only the elements number increased in 1912 
Henry Mosley, a British scientist, discovered a new property of element which is called atomic number. You know what is called atomic number? In the previous atoms and molecules, you have learned about atomic number and mass number. Also, you have learned in 9th standard, 8th standard also. What is called atomic number? So, atomic number is nothing but that is the number of proton present in the nucleus of an atom. We can define atomic number. Atomic number is defined as the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. So, this total number of protons is always equal to the number of electron which revolve around the nucleus. So, we can also define the atomic number in yet another form. Atomic number can be also defined based on electron. The total number of electrons revolve around the nucleus of an atom is also can be termed as atomic number because these two numbers are always equal to one another. In an atom, the number of proton is always equal to number of electron then only atom is going to be a stable and neutral and what is modern periodic laws is already I noted already you learned in ninth standard also the physical and chemical properties of the elements the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. So, this is modern periodic law which was proposed by Henry Mosley, a British scientist in 1912 based on the atomic number. So, what is modern periodic law? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. This is modern periodic law. And next see modern periodic table with reference to the modern periodic law. He arranged the elements in the increasing order of atomic number. And in the early concepts say that atoms are arranged based on the atomic mass. But mostly only change to arrange the elements in the order of increasing atomic number. So, the modern periodic table is a tabular arrangement of elements in rows and columns highlighting the regular repetition of properties of the elements. So, sometime you will be asked what is called the modern periodic table. The modern periodic table is a, a tabular arrangement of elements in rows and columns highlighting the regular repetition of properties of elements. So, in the modern periodic table, when you are going to discuss and you are going to uh, read and analyze the modern periodic table, we can easily understand that the elements are in the increasing order of atomic number and depend upon the increasing order of the atomic number, their electronic configuration, their atomic ready, everything are going to be gradually increased. So, this is going to be called uh, a regular repetition of properties in the modern periodic table. Then, as we have studied the features of the modern periodic table, already we have studied about the, the features of a modern periodic table in 8th standard also, the advantages of a modern periodic table. In 8th standard, uh, uh, Ninth standard, you have studied that is advantages of modern periodic table. That is uh, the fundamental properties, atomic number, and uh, periods and groups, and the arrangement is very very useful to remember and reproduce. And uh, the subgroups are discarded. And the isotopic element possesses only one position. For example, hydrogen 
and the 18th group which is a rare gas that is uh, on the left hand side of the uh, right hand side of the periodic table then the table periodic table completely separate metal from non metal and uh, the position of certain elements which were earlier and fit in the metallic periodic table are now justified because based on the atomic number and also lanthanide and actinides are given at the bottom of the periodic table these are the some of the advantages are given in the ninth standard syllabus now in tenth standard the features of uh, periods see the first point horizontal rows are called periods already we discussed already you learned in ninth standard periods are nothing but the elements in the horizontal rows of the modern periodic table so there are seven periods in the modern periodic table so now we are going to discuss about all the seven periods first period only there are two elements in the first period when you going to see the modern periodic table in the ninth standard book or in the tenth standard book you can easily understand the first period constitute only two elements left hand side one element and right hand side another element left hand side hydrogen is given the right side helium is given so atomic number 1 for hydrogen atomic number 2 for helium so only two elements in the first period this is the shortest period in the modern periodic table it contains only two elements then in the second period atomic number starting from 3 to 10 elements 3 to 10 that is lithium to neon for example see if you have a textbook you can check your textbook lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon so lithium to neon totally eight elements so there are eight elements in the second period starting from the atomic number 3 to 10 and which is called a short period in the periodic table the first period is called shortest period because it contain only two element second period is short period which contain eight elements from lithium to neon then third period atomic number starting from 11 to 18 11 to 18 sodium to argon so 11th element is sodium then magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon so atomic number 11 to 18 totally eight elements in the third period this third period also called as short period so there are uh, Uh, two short periods in the modern periodic table the second period and third periods are called uh, short periods because they contain eight elements then fourth period fourth period starting from the atomic number 19 to 36 atomic number 19 to 36 it contains 18 elements from potassium to krypton potassium to krypton and this constitute eight normal elements and 10 transition elements and 19th one is potassium then calcium scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc gallium germanium arsenic selenium and bromine next to the last one krypton so these are the 18 elements present in the fourth period 
which is a, a long period in the periodic table. Fourth period is the long period contain 18 elements from atomic number 37 to 54. Then sixth period in the modern periodic table starting from the atomic number 55 to 86. 55 to 86. This is the longest period in the periodic table because it contains that is uh, then uh, uh, fifth period fifth period contain uh, 18 elements that is uh, atomic number 37 to 54 37 to 54 this is also a long period so there are uh, two long periods it contains also 18 elements starting from rubidium to xenon this also include similar to the fourth period eighth nor eight normal element and 10 transition elements so 18 elements totally so fourth and fifth periods are called long periods first period is shortest period and second and third periods are short period fourth and fifth period long period each contain 18 elements 8 normal elements 10 transition elements so in the fifth period the first element is a uh, rubidium then stantium yttrium zirconium niobium molybdenum technetium ruthenium rhodium palladium silver cadmium indium tin antimony tellurium and uh, iodine the last uh, that is the uh, noble gas is uh, xenon so these are the 18 element present in the fifth period of the modern periodic table fifth period contain 18 elements starting from rubidium to xenon so fourth and fifth periods are called uh, long periods then next period sixth period the sixth period which constitute 32 elements atomic number starting from 55 to 86 that is the longest period in the periodic table because it contain 8 normal elements 10 transition elements and 14 inner transition elements which are called as the lanthanides so in the sixth period starting from the atomic number uh, 55 55 that is uh, ccm barium and uh, next to see 57 to 71 that is given under the periodic table the bottom of the periodic table that is called a lanthanide series an atomic number 72 is uh, hafnium tantalium tungsten rhenium osmium iridium platinum gold mercury thallium lead bismuth polonium astatine and the last one 86 element is a noble gas radon so there are totally 32 elements and 14 inner trans elements which possess these 14 elements possess from lanthanum to lutetium they possess uh, similarity in their physical and chemical properties so mostly kept all these uh, 14 elements below the periodic table so they are called as uh, inner transition elements lanthanum to lutetium these 14 elements are having similarity in their property then seventh period atomic number 87 to 118 so this also constitute uh, like a sixth period 32 elements but the newly discovered elements are going to be included in this uh, seventh period so sometimes this also called as uh, an incomplete period because the new elements are going to be included in this period only so nowadays uh, it constitute only 32 elements recently four elements have been included by so whenever IUPAC is going to authenticate the new element those elements are going to be included in the seventh period 
Now, seventh period starting from the atomic number 87 to 118. And 87, which is uh, uh, francium, radium. Then 89 to 103, which is uh, at the bottom of a periodic table, which is called actinide series, inner transition element, actinide series from actinium to laurentium. Actinium to laurentium, 14 elements possess similarity in their physical and chemical properties. So, mostly kept these elements below the lanthanide column. Then, Rutherfordium, Dubinium and Sigurbovium and Borium, Asnium and Metatinium, Termastrium, Rongenium and Copernicium and if, starting from these uh, till uh, uh, atomic number 118 elements are given in the uh, periodic table. So there are uh, totally 118 elements in the modern periodic table. These 118 elements are classified based on the increasing order of atomic number. Based on the increasing order of atomic number. This was uh, devised by based on the mentally periodic table by mostly so mostly only arrange these elements in the increasing order of atomic number so in 1912 mostly found the property of atomic number which is the basis one for the periodic classification so he arranged the elements in the increasing order of atomic number in the modern periodic table so in the features of uh, periods there are uh, seven period First period uh, is called a short period contain two elements. Second and third periods are uh, first period is a shortest period which constitute two elements. Second and third periods are short period which contain each eight elements. And fourth and fifth periods are long period constitute 18 elements each. Sixth period that is longest period. 7th period also longest also called as an incomplete period. Now when you are going to see the uh, periodic table that is which constitute uh, uh, periods so which is given period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 these are the periods or the element present in the horizontal rows of the periodic table and groups are the elements present in the vertical column from top to bottom for example first group element hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium like that then a uh, first period it is uh, first element hydrogen then uh, next extreme that is uh, uh, helium so similarly when you go that is uh, lithium beryllium then boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, they are given. Then here some colors are given to differentiate metal, non-metal, semi-metal, alkali metal, calgogen. And these uh, groups are uh, classified based on the, the first element, boron family, carbon family, nitrogen family and halogens like that. Those things we are going to discuss now. Then... Next, features of uh, groups. So, the vertical columns in the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called groups. So, groups are nothing but element present in the vertical column. Vertical columns are that is uh, top to bottom. So, these top to bottom columns are called groups. There are 18 groups in the modern periodic table. There are 18 groups in the modern periodic table. And based on some common properties, they are classified into different categories. So for example, see the first group elements are called alkali metals. First group, that is uh, lithium, sodium, potassium, they, they are called as alkali metals. And second group elements are termed as 
அல்கலின் எர்த்து மெட்டல் லைக் பெர்லியம் மெக்னீஷியம் கால்சியம் ஸ்டான்சியம் தேர் ஆல் அல்கலின் எர்த்து மெட்டல் தென் ஃப்ரம் குரூப் த்ரீ டு டுவெல் குரூப் த்ரீ டு டுவெல் ஆர் டோம் டேஸ் ட்ரான்சிஷன் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்கேண்டியம் டு ஜிங்க் எட்ரியம் டு கேட்மியம் ஸோ தே ஆர் இன் தி இன்பிடிவின் லெஃப்ட் அண்ட் ரைட் காலம் ஸோ தீஸ் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கால்டு ட்ரான்சிஷன் ஆர் இன்டர்மீடியட் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் தென் தேர்ட்டீன்த் குரூப் இஸ் கால்டு போரான் ஃபேமிலி போரான் இஸ் தி ஃபஸ்ட் எலமெண்ட் தென் ஃபாலோயிங் தட் அலுமினியம் கேலியம் அண்ட் இண்டியம் தாலியம் ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் ஸோ தீஸ் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கால்டு ஆஸ் போரான் ஃபேமிலி தென் ஃபோர்டீன்த் குரூப் த ஃபஸ்ட் எலமெண்ட் இஸ் கார்பன் ஸோ த நேம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கிவன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தி கார்பன் கார்பன் ஃபேமிலி ஸோ ஃபாலோயிங் தி கார்பன் கார்பன் சிலிகான் ஜெர்மானியம் டின் லெட் ஆல் தீஸ் எலமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் இன் தி கார்பன் ஃபேமிலி தென் சிக்ஸ்டீன்த் ஃபிஃப்டீன்த் ஒன் தட் இஸ் நைட்ரஜன் ஃபேமிலி நைட்ரஜன் பாஸ்பரஸ் ஆர்சனி கேன்டிமனி பிஸ்மத் தேர் ஆல் ஆக்சிஜன் ஃபேமிலி ஆல்சோ கால்டு கால்கோஜன் ஃபேமிலி then 17th group is called halogen family the halogen family fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astridine these elements are given the halogen halogens are uh, uh, salt producing elements when they are going to react with the metal they produce salt then the last uh, column vertical column which is called uh, noble gas rare gases or inert gases noble gases or rare gases or inert gases and there are uh, elements helium neon argon krypton xenon red and they are in the uh, noble gases so totally 18 groups these 18 groups are uh, uh, grouped into various families like alkali metal alkaline earth metal transition metal boron family carbon family nitrogen family oxygen family halogen family and noble gases so the lanthanide and actinides which form part of uh, group 3 are called uh, inert transition elements so in the group 3 it is given transition elements and inside the uh, transition element only lanthanides and actinides are going to be included so they are called uh, inert transition elements and except group o that is uh, noble gases all the group elements having the same number of electron in their valence shell so the valences are going to be same what is called uh, uh, valence shell and valency valence shell is nothing but that is the outermost shell of the atom of an element it is called uh, valence shell so valency is uh, the number of electron present in the outermost shell of the the number of electron present in the outermost shell that is called uh, it's going to be more or less going to be valency or also the combining capacity of an element is called uh, its valency this already we have learned in 8th and 9th standard then as the element present in a group have identical valence shell electronic configuration so their configuration means uh, uh, arranging the electrons uh, arranging the electron based on the uh, formula 2n squared in 9th standard you have studied the electrons are going to be arranged using the formula 2n squared that is called the electronic configuration the physical properties of the elements in a group such as melting point boiling point and density are gradually change when you going from one group to another then atoms of the group who oh, that is uh, zero group elements that is uh, noble gases they are in stable electronic configuration and uh, they are not going to be reactive that's why these elements are called uh, inactive elements are called inert gases noble gases because they are uh, stable electronic configuration they are going to have eight electron except uh, helium the elements are going to have eight electron in the outermost shell so when an atom going to have eight electron in the outermost shell the it's going to be a stable in nature which will not readily donate or accept electron 
so they will they will be highly unreactive so they are inert gases or inactive gases inert gases and inactive gases so so far we have discussed about uh, the modern periodic uh, table and uh, what we have learned already in 9th standard uh, we are simply updated the knowledge of uh, modern periodic table and the features of uh, periods and features of uh, groups also you have discussed now and the next topic in this modern periodic classification periodic trends in properties and we will discuss about the periodic trends in properties in the next session and already i have said uh, we discussed uh, the textual evaluation in the atoms and molecules atomic structure and remaining also there that is uh, two mark question and uh, five mark some hard questions are there in the atoms and molecules so for this also we, i send the answer for a relative atomic mass and uh, isotope atomicity heteroatomic molecule and uh, how to calculate the atomic mass and the number of moles so for all these sums i send the answer and you have to copy all these in your uh, classwork notebook and you have to learn how to calculate atomic mass average atomic mass and the postulates of modern atomic theory relationship between relative molecular mass and vapor density so the first lesson atoms and molecule all the topics uh, uh, you have to revise and be thorough and you have to take down in your class work and after i will give time to write a test and you have to write a test on this topic atoms and molecule so you have to prepare well and also by the next lesson also we are doing revision so you should not waste that time and then and then you have to copy in your class work and prepare well and the, the next the next one that is a periodic trends in properties you will see in the you will discuss in the next section thank you